time, bro. So you fresh today? You fresh today? <clears throat> that work. That work. That work. You ready to get into this? That is good. Ready to get into it? All right, bro. Let's get it popping. I'm going to lie to y'all. Ready? Yeah. Bam. All right, man. What's popping, everybody? Um, <clears throat> First of all, it's good to be back. Been off for like, I think like a week or so now because I've been really, really sick. I'm probably not going to talk that much, believe it or not, just because I'm kind of scared. Because every time I talk a lot, I find that, yeah, like, my throat gets really dry. I cough like crazy. <coughs> you see, <clears throat> I'm trying my best to hold it in. But with that said, good to be back anyways. <clears throat> yeah, new setup. Yeah, I probably, well, you probably can see through here, through the glasses. I'm sure that you see a big-ass ring right here. So we definitely got a new stand. Right, starting crazy. off. That looks crazy. New, that thing is big as hell. I don't know, really, to be honest with you, I hope it makes a difference. I think it's going to make a bit of a difference. I was kind of testing it out a little earlier. Nah, it definitely looked, will, bro. Yeah, it looked like it, it clears out a lot. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. It, 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 it should make a well, difference. You said ring light. I was expecting, like, you know, the little ones. I was telling you, I was like, yo, the thing is huge, man. Like, it's huge. And on top of that, man, I, well, I, literally all we're missing at this point is mics. Like, yeah. literally. Yes, some mics, bro. It'll be a wrap. So coming soon to a theater near you, <coughs> hopefully. Yeah, Ocean Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Christmas just passed. New Year's about to come. What's popping with that? How do you feel about it so far? Yeah, I feel like I nailed Christmas, bro. I feel like a real grown up. I feel like I, I nailed Christmas. I, I feel like I, you know, I did that that the the mom Christmas. You know, we start buying gifts like since like Friday, <laughs> early, <laughs> early. And so you pace yourself. <laughs> And, and so I was, I, I thought I did well. Like, I, I mean, I think I, I know Christmas this year. I got everybody pretty good gifts. Um, yeah, you got me the essentials tea. Fits me like a gown, but I don't know. <laughs> I still like it, man. It's something about the tea. You know, I still I like it, man. You could have size change. Nah, I still, I still like it, man. But, yeah, but you know, uh, so, <laughs> but I, I mean, for me, it's never about the gifts, right? I love the gifts. Because this year I also got some dope gifts. Bro, you came through with that keychain, though. <laughs> Dino game. Okay. <laughs> right. And so but it was more about, you know, just just uh hanging out with the fam, hanging out with friends. So, um, you know, this is the first year in a while that my brother's in town. Yeah. So like the full family, except yeah. for my niece now. Yeah, yeah, that's man. crazy, like the little, the little little but you know what yeah. you take you take the blessings as they come. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you were there though, you were dying. But we had a good time, it's family time, um yeah. Because uh I think it's always good to just reflect. And Christmas and years that's my reflection time, most more than anything else. Um, just reflect on, on the year, you know. I, it's so easy to get carried away by the bad or by by the social media madness of it, like you know, mm -hmm. posting what you got, posting <coughs> what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But just to reflect on the small things that that we can easily take for granted if we don't we don't pay attention, um, like family, just a good vibe, good friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. good food, right? Because I like said I see people get stressed out with gifts, like I don't know if I'm gonna do this. And that's the last thing of people should be on your mind. I mean, it's dope to get good gifts, but it's better to just appreciate the people because those are the biggest gifts, right? Yeah. And so for me, uh, Christmas was, was that. We're just sitting down. We, we binge watched The Office, ate yeah, some yeah. food, and just, just laughed a lot. You know, just yeah. laughed a lot. That, that was it's it, funny. man. It's fun. It's definitely fun. <laughs> and what about this whole new year, coming into the new year? How, how are you looking at that? If you have been yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, I've been thinking about it heavily, <clears throat> With a lot. I think I'll share it to you with you a little bit. Then I'm gonna start a year off with a, some different kind of decision making. Yeah. Uh, one of the, my mindsets is I'm being cheap this year, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because I'm trying to prepare myself for a future that I can sustain, mm -hmm. right? I don't want to live an unsustainable life. And as when we're young, especially financially speaking, but also I think uh, spiritually and emotionally speaking, we live unsustainable lives. Yeah. Meaning that young people tend to go up. A lot, mm -hmm. they go down a lot. We have a lot of peaks and a lot of drops, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you see older people, they kind of just like find a medium. Mm -hmm. But they'll have their ups and downs, everybody yeah. does. But they'll find a medium. And when you see old people, especially, they find their their like their yeah. zone. Yeah. Some people choose to be grumpy forever. Some people choose to be happy forever. Yeah. But they find their, their, their niche. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, for me, that's my mindset this year is going into this year is being healthier, healthier financially, healthier emotionally, physically. Um, I think that those three are the big factors. If I can handle those, if I can, like, you know, really focus my energy on those, mm -hmm. I feel like I can start approaching the rest of my life a little better. You know, plan for a, for a future where a family comes, plan for a future where I can impact mm -hmm. people. Like, we were talking about it, building a legacy mm -hmm. uh, and truly put my money where my mouth is, you know? Yeah. But if, I, if, I don't, if I'm not, if I'm, like, erratic with my money, if I'm erratic with my decisions, then I can't really do what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. So I think that that's where I'm at. 
Yeah, and yeah, I'm, and we're in similar paths, you know. Um, <clears throat> for me, these first like three months of this year is gonna be like super strict for me, as far as paying off not to pay off. Um, and then from there on, it's gonna be the same thing. Just <clears throat> try to put you know as much uh, financial thought into you know mm-hmm. my decision making uh, process, so you know I can have funds available for you know when you know buying property comes into play and all these different things. So it's, it's for sure the same thing, you know, but <clears throat> something that that I also want to like highlight um, is that even though it is a new year, a lot of people like to say January 1st, or, you know, January 1st, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, I think you need to start whatever your goal is as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, if you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, you've been wanting to start an Instagram page about food, if you've been wanting to start a Twitter account about your company, right, an unboxing tour kit, YouTube thing, um, you know, if you've been wanting to do something, whatever it may be, you know, start a lemonade stand, start a startup company, whatever, you know, whatever it may be that, that you've been, you know, having a desire in your heart, <clears throat> um, don't wait till New Year's, you know what I mean? Don't wait till New Year's to join the gym. Don't wait to, and either way, I mean, at this point, it's probably spoken too late anyways, because we're literally there anyways, mm-hmm. right? We're like, we're four days away. Well, you know, the, the point here is that um, not to put things on hold for this special thing that I guess us as human beings have made it, you know, mm-hmm. a thing, right? Like, you know, it's like, oh, it's a new year, and, you know, let's take it in together, and, you know, like, I get the whole special thing about it, but, you know, um, let's not put things on delay, on delay anymore. You know, I think it's time that that for twenty nineteen we definitely start thinking deeper about what it is that we want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, the future. You know, you know, making those right decisions to set you up right. You know what I mean? You don't want to be looking back and be like, "Oh, I should have, should have, should have." Because even now we talk about it now, like we we already have those moments now where, "Oh, I shouldn't have done X, Y, and Z then because I would have this now." Mm-hmm. And you know, it it you know you got to move pieces around um accordingly. So for those of you right now that are you know, <clears throat> you're making goals, like, oh, man, I can't wait until January 1st, you know, New Year's resolution stuff, cut that shit out, don't, just cut that shit out, don't, don't do that, don't do the whole New Year resolution shit, like, just go in automatically, just go, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to start right now, you get me, so if your thing is to do something, don't wait until it's New Year's, don't wait until, like, halfway of the year, like, don't, you know, don't set those kind of things up, just try to, you know, tackle things correctly. I mean, it's obviously different for everybody too. You know, I understand there's time things for everybody, mm-hmm. right? Like, I can't tell you, you just get on the diet, like right now, right? You can't just do that, but start, you know, accumulating those habits now. So, um, <clears throat> I think it's been a fantastic year for me, for us. I, I could say, you know, 2018 has been mm-hmm. full of growth. Um, the things I started thinking of at the beginning of the year until now are just so, so different. Um, it's, I feel like this year went by so fast, it's insane. right? Crazy. <clears throat> um, it feels like I was just pulling up to you guys with Lewis to church yeah. on New Year's Day, and like it's about to happen. Yeah. It's so crazy. That is really. Cool. <clears throat> but you know, also you know to to take the time to also you know just know how like to to realize how far you've come. You know what I mean? Like where were you at the beginning of the year, and where are you now? You know, mindset wise, job wise, all of that, all of that matters. You know, to take into consideration, like every point that you've been at so far, like what have you learned, how mm-hmm. have you grown? Take all of those points into consideration because you know it's made you the person that you are at this very moment. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's super important for us to take into consideration. Yeah, well. I mean, because uh, <coughs> we always talk about is that that the need for self awareness. Um, you know. Some people just can't give themselves enough credit. Some people give themselves too much credit. You gotta find a medium in that. You know, like I uh, appreciate the fact you mentioned it yourself this year. Um, and there was a lot of downs. Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of downs. There was a lot of tough moments. Um, and you know, you know, there was a lot of tough moments. But there was, there was also a good year. There was a, a lot of growth in the professional aspect, in the friendship aspect, in, in this dream that we started together. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, we're, I think I'm, I'm a punk for twenty nineteen. Um, for just to build on top of what we already started, you know, mm-hmm. uh, whatever this becomes, whatever you know. I was told you, I, I, for me, I love I'm down, but this is just uh, an extension of our friendship. So as long as our friendship is building up, I know this is gonna continue building. Yeah. And I've seen that, you know, uh, I was telling George a couple of weeks ago that uh, you know 
know, the, the friendship we have is just something that I can definitely build on with a cement that is solid, that I know that uh, whether I'm 20 years on the line, it's still going to be like Uncle George, you know, yeah. like that kind of mentality. So that's the, that's the, I'm saying to you, man. My, my suggestion to you is find good people. That will make your year better. Mm -hmm. For sure, man. So, you know, guys, um, once again, you know, we're trying to make these as short as, I guess, as we can, but with as much value as we could input, at least value from us. Um, <clears throat> so, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, <clears throat> check us out, whether you saw us by mistake or you clicked the link in one of our bios or, you know, however it is that you got to us. Um, thank you guys for taking the time to listen. If you listen all the way, um, you know, there's more to come for sure. We're going to try to kick it up a notch. I was like, this whole month has been very, you know, ch choppy yeah. and whatnot, you know, with all this stuff's going on. But, you know, hopefully, that's it. Next year, we're back on track, you know, just banging them out. Um, and trying to, you know, give you guys as much as we can. So, you know, again, appreciate you guys. So thank you. So